That's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How you all doing today? Today we're looking at a Kenmore. It's going to be the Elite Gas Dryer. So what we've got is we got a poor heat situation at this point is what the story was. And we'll take a look at it. First thing we're going to do is take these uh, screws off down here below and remove this bottom panel. Okay, after removing the bottom panel, the first thing I see is I see the lint built up and you can see it's actually, it's, it's burnt. And there's quite a bit of lint built up in here. It's probably definitely clogging up the motor. And so this indicates to me when this lint is built up and backed up like this, it has a poor vent. It has a poor, there's, uh, the vent flow is not good. So either there's a kink in the, man, these wires got hot. Actually started on fire. So yeah, poor lint flow. Okay, so, yeah, this one got real hot. These wires here are actually burnt, so it must have caught on fire. So what we see is, we see that this seal right here is sort of ineffective because you can see it's sucking in lint here. So it, uh, this part here, must not have been flush. You can see it sucking in lint from the bottom here. Down here it sucked in lint. So it had a poor seal from the beginning. Um, so that was the problem with this one. And it almost sucked in that dime there. So that's that's going to be the problem with this. Basically, we're going to have to put a new seal around here and make sure that that's going to line up flush with that. Because what was what was happening, it was not sucking full force through this area here and was sucking partly part way around here. Um, so that would cause it to uh, be sucking in cold air here and not necessarily sucking the hot air through the uh, through the uh, dryer and then so we're going to check some of these other uh, parts in here just to make sure they're functioning as well usually if the dryer uh, fires then it's not a component problem Usually if it fires and runs, it's not a component problem, it's a ventilation problem. And you can see this one definitely has a ventilation problem. So if this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. If you need any help, you can contact me at 707-445-1591. And thanks for watching.